align and distribute layers align and distribute layers how to align and distribute layers in photoshop by the way you can use the align and distribute options to easily line up and properly space your image layers and use the frequently for creating panoramic images and align objects on different layers and you can also align the content of layers and groups using the move tool this icon now and you have to do the following now to align multiple layers by the way select the layers with the move tool or in the layers panel or select a group and to align the content of one or more layers to a selection border make a selection first in the image and then select the layers in the layers panel and you can use this method by the way to align to any specified point in the image number two you have to choose layer then choose align or layer then choose align layer to selection and choose a command from the submenu this same commands by the way are available as alignment buttons in the move tool options bar and what about top edges top edges is meaning that top edges is meaning aligns the top pixel on the selected layers to the topmost pixel on all selected layers by the way or top the top edge of the selection border so what about vertical centers vertical centers is meaning that aligns the vertical center pixel on each selected layers to the vertical center pixel of all the selected layers or the or to the vertical center of the selection border what about bottom edges bottom edges is meaning that it's meaning aligns to the bottom pixel pixel on the selected layers to the bottom most pixel on selected layers or to the bottom edge of the selection border Left edges is meaning that left edges aligns the left pixel on the selected layers to the left pixel on the leftmost layer or to the left edge of the selection border by the way and what about horizontal centers horizontal centers is meaning that aligns the horizontal center pixel on the selected layers to the horizontal center pixel of all the selected layers and or or to the horizontal center of the selection border what about right edges right edges is meaning that aligns the right pixel on the linked layers to the rightmost pixel on all selected layers by the way and or to the right edge of the selection border so what about distribute layers and groups evenly distribute layers and groups evenly we have two options now here now option number one select three or most layers and number two you should choose layer and you should choose distribute and choose a command alternatively select the move tool this icon and uh, click a distribution button in the option bar so what about top edges top edges is meaning that it spaces the layer evenly starting from the top pixel of each layer and what about vertical centers vertical centers is meaning it spaces the layers evenly and starting from the vertical center pixel of each layer so what about bottom edges bottom edges is meaning that it spaces the layers evenly and starting from the bottom pixel of each layer anyway and what about left edges left edges is meaning it spaces the layers evenly and starting from the left pixel of each layer horizontal centers horizontal centers is meaning that again it spaces the layers evenly starting from the horizontal center of each layer so what the me what's the meaning of right edges right edges is the meaning that spaces the layers evenly then starting from the right pixel on each layer so what about horizontally horizontally is the meaning that di distributes horizontal spacing between the layers evenly what's the meaning of vertically vertically is the meaning that distributes vertical spacing between the layers evenly and what about automatically align image layers automatically align image layers is meaning that the auto align layers command can automatically align layers based on similar content in different layers such as corners and edges and you assign one layer as a reference layer or let photoshop automatically choose the reference layer and other layers by the way are aligned to the reference layer so that matching content overlays itself and using the auto alliance layers command you can combine combine images in several ways we have number one replace or delete parts of images that have the same background and after aligning the images use a masking or blending effects to combine parts of each image into one image and you have to see combine image with auto print layers 
So number two, stitch, stitch images together that share overlapping, overlapping content. Number three, for video frames, shot is on a st uh, static background and you can convert frames into layers and then add or delete, or delete content across multiple frames. And we have steps here now, step number one, copy or replace the images you want to align into the same document. And each image, by the way, will be in a separate layer. And you can also load multiple images into layers using a script. And you have to choose file, then choose scripts, then choose load files into stack. And step number two, optional. In the layers panel, create a reference. Then uh, create a reference layer by locking it. And you see, look layers. If you don't, you, you don't set a reference layer, and Photoshop will analyze all the layers and select the one at the center of the final composition at the reference. Number three, step number three, select the remaining layers you want to align. To select multiple adjacent and layers from the panel, shift click to select non-continuous layers and click Control if you use Windows and Control Command if you use Mac OS. And know that don't select adjustment layers and vector layers or smart objects that don't contain information in a way needed for alignment. Number four, you have to choose edit and then choose auto align layers and then choose an alignment option. And for stitching together multiple images that share overlapping, by the way, areas, for example, to create a panorama, use the auto perspective, perspective or or options to align scanned images with offset content and, and use the reposition only option. <coughs> so what about Uto? Uto in Photoshop analyzes the source images and applies either a perspective and, a, and layout depending on which produces a better composite. And perspective, perspective is meaning that creates a cons consistent composition by, by design, by designating one of the source images by default and the middle image as the reference image and the other images are then transformed and repositioned and stretched and or skewed and as necessary and this is that overlapping content across layer is matched and reduces the poverty distortion that can occur with the uh, perspective la layout by displaying individual images as an, on an unfolded unfolded calendar unfolded calendar and overlapping content across layers is still matched by the way and the reference image is placed at the center and the best suite so suited for creating wide panoramas what about spherical spherical it's meaning alliance images with wide filters of view and vertical and horizontal and design it design it's one of the sources images by the way and as a middle image by default and as a reference image as is frankly transforms the other images so that overlapping content is matched what about a skin college a skin college is meaning that aligns layers and matches overlapping content and without changing the shape of the objects in the image for example a circle will still be a circle and reposition only what about reposition only is meaning that aligns the layers and matches overlapping content but doesn't transform and stretch or skew and any of the source layers what about lens correction lens correction is meaning that automatically Corrects, correct this for lens for lens defects. And what about vigilant vigilante removal? Vigilant removal is meaning that compensates for a lens defect defect that causes the edges, especially the corners of an image to be darker than the center. So what about geometric? Geometric 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 sorry, I'm so sorry. Geometric distortion. Geometric distortion is meaning that Compensates for barrel and bunchon uh, and bunchon of fi of uh, of fish eye distortion. Not and be careful here now. Geometric distortion will be so, sorry will try to take into account the the radical distortion to improve the result of the alignment. Except with fish eye lens and when fish eye metadata is detected, 
geometric distribution will be aligned the images for fish for, for fish eye and after auto align, uh, aligning you can use edit then free transform to fine tune the alignment to make tonal adjustments to even out exposure differences between layers and then combine the layers into one composite image by the way